Hello and welcome to Supine Yoga Stretch. My name is Adriana Lee with New York Fit and today I'm going to be guiding you guys through a super gentle supine yoga flow that you can do lying down in your bed either right when you wake up, right before bed, or just any time that you need a little extra boost of energy. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and lie down and we'll get started right away. Start out lying down on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on whatever surface you're on. You can relax your arms by your sides or even let them lay in a cactus shape to feel for a little extra opening in your chest. Take a deep inhale into your belly and as you exhale, press your lower back down into the ground. Inhale and relax that and exhale, press your low back down. So all we're feeling for here are some pelvic tilt, allowing the hip points to come forward and then to come back. And this is just to help mobilize the hips and it is super gentle core work that you're doing here. If you wanna add on the core work element of this, as you press your low back down, also pull your low belly down. We'll do this three more times. Exhale, press, inhale, relax. Exhale, press, and one last round. And from here, squeeze your knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug, and find a gentle rock side to side, just massaging out your sacrum. This pose feels great on a flatter surface, but if you're on your bed, it might still feel pretty good. And then keep squeezing your right knee into your chest and allow your left leg to extend all the way out. If this is too intense for your left hip, go ahead and keep that left knee bent. And if grabbing onto your shin it feels a little bit too far away, you can grab the back of your leg, a piece of your clothing, just whatever is easily reachable. And take a full inhale here. And exhale, squeeze your knee towards your underarm. You should feel for a little bit of compression in the right side of your belly. Ideally though, the leg is just barely on the outside of your rib cage. And then allow your leg to extend up towards the ceiling and grab onto whatever you can reach, back of your hamstring, maybe your calf, maybe even your foot if that is easily reachable. And then circle the ankle a couple times to the right and a couple times to the left. And we'll flex and point the toes a few times. This will help to stretch different muscles or access different areas of the back of your leg. And go ahead and keep your toes pointed. Grab onto your leg, take an inhale. And as you exhale, give your leg a gentle pull back. Not forcing. One more inhale here. And exhale, gentle pull back. Good. Let your leg relax a little bit out of that and hook your right thumb into your right hip crease. That's just to keep your right hip down. Point your right toes over to the left and use your left hand on the outside of the leg to gently take your leg across. So what you're feeling for here is a stretch on the outside of your right leg, getting into your IT band. Inhale here. And exhale, maybe take the leg another centimeter across. If you're not feeling the stretch, you can play with taking the leg closer to your face first and then pulling across. If your right hip comes up though, we'll come fully out of the IT band stretch and into a spinal twist. So avoid doing that by keeping your right hip down on the ground. All right, take your leg back up to center. Grab onto the outside of your leg again, wherever you can reach, you can flex or point your toes for this and allow your leg to open out to the side. I like to use my arm like a kickstand so that I don't have to use too much energy to keep it in place. Another option here is to use a strap or a rope or belt or whatever you have and loop it around your foot for this. And we'll stay here for just one more slow breath. And then when you're ready, take your leg back up to center, bend your right knee and this time you're really aiming your knee for just outside of your rib cage, not going into the space of your belly. And grab onto your leg wherever you can reach, back of the hamstring, somewhere along the shin, or maybe the outside of your right foot, using your right hand. So this is a half happy baby, and we'll add on one more element here. Bend your left knee and let your left knee open out to the side into a half baddha konasana or half bound angle shape. That should help to keep your hips pretty even on the mat. But if you feel all your weight is leaning to one side, back out of the stretch in the right hip, or in the right leg rather, and send more weight into your left leg. Take a deep inhale. 
And as you exhale, use your right hand to gently pull the right knee down. Staying here for just one more deep breath. And then release that. Use your left hand to help bring your right knee back to center and release your right foot down to meet the left. From here, we'll come into a supine twist. Pull your knees in towards your chest and lean all the way over onto your right side. Stack your hips, stack your knees and stack your ankles with your knees at about the same height as your belly button. Then reach your left arm overhead. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, let your left shoulder start to lean towards the ground. Let it get heavy towards the ground, opening your chest towards the ceiling. So if your shoulder blade easily touches the mat, you can let your left arm extend out to the side wherever is comfortable. But if it stays lifted, protect your shoulder by keeping your arm overhead. You can look in whatever direction is most comfortable for your neck. And stay here for a few more breaths. Breathe deeply into your left ribs. Maybe with each exhale, your left shoulder blade gets a little bit closer to the ground. And then final deep breath here. We'll unwind out of your twist. Lay back on your back, and this time cross your right knee over your left. So just kind of like you're sitting casually in a chair, your knees should be touching. Then slide your hands down to your ankles and pull your ankles towards your outer hips. This might be enough, and if it is, that's perfect. Stay right here. If you need a little more, you can start to squeeze your knees toward your chest. And another option here, if you still need more, is to hold onto your heels and lift your heels up so they're out to the sides. Then use your hands to pull your knees towards your chest. And that'll give you a slightly more intense stretch in your outer hips. Staying here for two more deep breaths and whatever variation you are in. And then to come out, let your left leg lower, uncross your right leg, and squeeze your left knee into your chest. Option to extend your right leg to straight, or if that's too intense in the right hip, keep your knee bent. Grab on again to whatever you can reach, back of your hamstring, shin, or maybe pieces of your clothing. Take a deep breath in, expanding your breath into your left side of your belly. And as you exhale, give your leg a little squeeze, finding a little compression for the descending colon on this side. So this pose on right and left is great for digestion because it does help to squeeze those sides of the colon. On the right side, squeezing the ascending. On the left side, squeezing the descending. And then reach your left leg up to the sky. Grab on wherever you can and circle your ankle a couple of times to the left. And a couple of times to the right. And then flex and point your toes a few times. Again, just feeling for the difference in the stretch when your foot is flexed versus when your toes are pointed. And then point your toes again and give your leg a gentle pull towards your chest. Deep inhale. And exhale, gentle pull. Keep your shoulders pretty relaxed for this and your neck really relaxed. Then relax out of that a little bit. Hook your left thumb into your hip crease just to keep the hip down. Point your right, your left toes rather, over to the right. And then use your right hand to cross your leg across just until you feel the outside of your leg, that IT band stretching. IT band can get super tight since its job is to help keep the knee in place. So no worries if it is pretty tight, but ideally, we loosen it up a little bit so that it's not so tight that it pulls the knee out of place. All right, relax out of that. You can place your right hand on your right hip and then let your left leg open out to the side, maybe using your elbow like a little kickstand if that's available. And just two more deep breaths here.
and let your leg gradually get lower if that's available. And if you start to need more, you can always arc your leg up towards your head. And then bring your leg back up through center. Bend your knee, aiming your knee just outside of your rib cage, and either grab onto the outside of your foot, somewhere along the shin, or your hamstring. Wherever you can reach is perfect for that half happy baby shape. And bend your right knee and let your right knee fall out to the side. You should feel for equal weight distribution between both sides of your lower back and both hips. And ideally your ankle is stacked right over your knee. So if it's coming down quite a bit, just lift that up so that your heel faces the ceiling. Take a deep breath here. And exhale, use your left hand to pull your knee down. Alrighty, go ahead and release that. Bring your right knee back up to center. Lower your left foot down and then lift your knees up towards your chest and roll all the way over onto your left side. So once again, you're stacking your hips, your knees and your ankles and your knees are at about the height of your belly button. Reach your right arm overhead, inhale here. And exhale, twist your chest open towards the ceiling. If your right shoulder blade stays lifted, just keep that arm overhead with your palm or fingertips on the ground. But with your breath, if you start to unwind so much that your right shoulder blade comes to the ground, allow your right arm to open out to the side if that's comfortable. I gaze is in whatever direction feels best on your neck. And we'll stay here for one more slow breath. And after that, exhale, roll back onto your back. Squeeze your knees into your chest for a moment. If you're finding that gentle rock. And then we'll get into supine gomukhasana by crossing your left leg over the right. Grab your ankles and pull your ankles down towards your outer hips. If this is enough, stay right here. Otherwise, you can use your hands to pull your knees closer to your chest. And if you still need more, grab onto your heels, lift your ankles out to the sides, and then pull your knees towards your chest. And stay here for just a few more deep breaths and whatever variation felt best in your body. And then release your ankles, uncross your legs, squeeze both knees back into your chest, giving yourself a little hug. Maybe rock a bit side to side. And then extend your legs all the way straight out in front of you. We'll go into banana pose here. So you're gonna scoot your hips to the left. Just scooting, not actually lifting anything. Then slide your ankles over to the right. If you need more already, you can cross your left ankle on top of the right. I find that that helps my legs stay in place. Then reach your arms overhead and arc your upper body over to the right. So you're in almost a C shape or a banana shape, which is why the pose has that name. If you were looking at yourself in a mirror on the ceiling. With your hands, you can either hold your hands, you can lay your left hand in the palm of your right hand, or you can even grab your elbows, just finding whatever feels good here. This pose does gradually increase in intensity the longer you stay in it. So we'll be here for about five full breaths. Take a deep breath in and send your breath into your left side ribs. And as you exhale, let your hips and your shoulders get heavy and relax into the pose. Letting go of any effort. Take another deep breath, this time expanding the breath from your left ribs all the way down into your left hip. And as you exhale, relax your jaw. Let the bottom jaw fall away from the top jaw. Take one more slow breath here. And to come out of the pose, uncross your left ankle from the top of your right, 
slide your upper body back through center, your legs back through center, and scoot your hips over to the right. And slide your ankles to the left, slide your upper body to the left, and maybe cross your right ankle on top of the left ankle. Adjust your arms as much as you need to get comfortable. And then we'll get into those slow, deep breaths. Inhale fully into your right side ribs as though you were trying to press the breath in between each of the ribs. And exhale, relax your hips and your shoulders. Let go of any tension from your neck. Inhale and wash your breath through the entire right side of your body from your underarm into your hips. And exhale, continue to soften into the shape, maybe letting go of tension from your jaw. Feel for your body gradually releasing and receiving more from the stretch as you let go. One more deep breath here. And to come out, uncross your right ankle from the top of your left, slide your upper body, legs, hips, everything back through center. Give your legs one final squeeze. And take a moment of gratitude towards yourself for choosing to get on your mat today and to take care of you. Now, if you're ready for bed, go ahead and just lay down, stay in bed. But if you're getting on with your day, take your time, press yourself back up to a comfortable seat, and place your hands together at your heart for just a moment to seal in your practice. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through this quick practice today. My name again is Adriana Lee with New York Fit. Namaste.